That's unconfirmed. Perseverance, stay safe. Honor, Stage two, tank pressing for flight. Flight computer has control of the vehicle. Do we see anything on the sensors? That's a problem. The quiet and serene planet Mars became the center of an astonishing discovery that even the smartest scientists struggled to explain. It all started in August 2012, exactly 11 years ago, when a surprising puzzle started to unravel. This revelation completely shook our understanding of Mars. And now a bomb was thrown into the scientific community. Yeah, literally a bomb. As the Curiosity rover began its exploration, NASA scientists watched eagerly from Earth, hoping for groundbreaking discoveries. Yet none were prepared for the shocking revelation that appeared to suggest a nuclear war, a devastating cataclysm that seemed to have engulfed Mars some 300 million years ago. Such a catastrophic event was not merely unexpected, it was thought to be impossible. And it all begins with a single tube. The Perseverance rover is excited about its recent delivery of a titanium tube to Mars. Researchers hope to bring special rock samples inside the tube back to Earth. These samples hold the potential to reveal the secrets that the Red Planet has kept hidden for years, thousands of years. The ninth tube, containing igneous rock samples, was left on Mars' surface for a future mission to retrieve. The Perseverance rover collected these samples by drilling into the Jezero crater, where it landed. Scientists are particularly interested in studying the rock sample to gain insights about the ancient history of the lake bed. However, there is more to this discovery. Astrobiologists and geologists are especially thrilled because this rock sample might help determine the age of the Martian surface. By studying rocks like these, scientists can learn about the age of the Earth's surface and its history. Understanding the age of Mars is a fascinating endeavor. By closely examining rocks like these, scientists may finally be able to accurately estimate the age of the Martian landscape. One common method used by scientists is counting craters, as more craters usually indicate an older region. The Perseverance rover expressed this excitement in a tweet, referring to these rock samples as a key to unlocking the real answer. In addition to the igneous rock sample, the rover had previously dropped a sandstone sample. Now, this sample could provide valuable information about the past wet conditions that led to the formation of the rock. NASA explains that the grains within this rock were transported by an ancient river to the rover's location, offering insights into the upstream region. The next two months will be dedicated to the rover's mission depositing 10 titanium tubes, each containing Martian rock and soil samples. This construction project, named Three Forks, is the first of its kind on another planet. The depot will provide assistance if any complications arise in transferring the samples to the retrieval mission. In such a scenario, a pair of sample recovery helicopters may be dispatched to complete the mission. Since its arrival on Mars, the rovers collected a total of 17 samples over the span of more than two years, as reported by NASA. This continuous effort of gathering samples is crucial for further exploration and understanding of the Red Planet. The recent delivery of a titanium tube by the Perseverance rover to Mars holds tremendous potential for the scientific discovery. These rock samples offer a glimpse into Mars' ancient past and may help determine the age of the Martian surface. With ongoing missions and the construction of a sample depot, scientists are eagerly working towards unlocking the mysteries of the Red Planet. NASA's Curiosity rover mission? Pry into the deepest secrets of Mars' chemical composition. And to expect the unexpected. A generous presence of red, oxidized iron dust, plentiful and scattered just beneath the surface. However, what it stumbled upon was far from what anybody could have fathomed. The Red Planet has always been the subject of intense scrutiny, a target for scientific investigation due to its similarity to Earth. But amidst this ambitious exploration, the Curiosity rover picked up traces of something unusual. Something that veered sharply from the anticipated iron dust. Significant amounts of Xenon-129. This element was startlingly unfamiliar in its presence, primarily because it seemed to be more abundant on Mars than on Earth. The puzzle deepened. What could possibly be generating this unusual profusion of xenon on Mars? The question loomed ominously over the scientific community, confounding experts worldwide. The presence of this radioactive isotope was a profound enigma, a riddle that didn't quite fit within the existing paradigms of Mars' geology. Among the sea of perplexed experts was Dr. John Brandenburg, a man of stellar reputation, with a rich history as a former NASA physicist and a key figure in the Clementine Moon mission. He found himself dumbstruck, mesmerized by the enigma that was Xenon-129. The bewilderment stemmed from a shocking fact. Xenon-129 is recognized as a byproduct of nuclear explosions. Dr. Brandenburg, a well-versed scholar in nuclear physics, couldn't mistake this. The Xenon-129 was a smoking gun, the silent remnants of a nuclear aftermath. When he presented his astonishing findings to other nuclear weapon specialists, they too were stunned in agreement. They confirmed that 
the abundance of xenon was indeed the unmistakable signature of nuclear weaponry. This was no mere anomaly, it was a seismic revelation, an unexplainable event that dared to challenge what we thought we knew about Mars. It left a profound impact on the scientific community, casting a long shadow of questions and wonderment. Had the Red Planet once witnessed a catastrophic nuclear event, or was there an even greater mystery waiting to be uncovered? The search for answers continues as Mars, silent and enigmatic, guards its secrets tightly. Imagine that we're traversing this alien world, our tires grinding through the rich, rust-red terrain, bouncing over unfathomable craters and jagged rocks. All around us, an unending, eerily silent wilderness stretches to the horizon. Suddenly, our instruments twitch with nervous energy. Their readings indicate a strange anomaly, a spike in Xenon-129, a specific type of Xenon that is a peculiar byproduct of nuclear explosions. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Earth, our home, has been a silent witness to over seven decades of atomic bomb detonations, each cataclysmic blast etching a unique signature of Xenon-129 into our atmosphere. Yet, what we're detecting on Mars is far beyond what we've ever recorded back home. An inconceivable amount, two and a half times higher than anything our terrestrial detectors have ever encountered. This startling revelation prompts an unnerving question. Could Mars, this barren, red giant, have been the site of a cataclysmic nuclear event? Might the otherwise desolate planet's history be more turbulent, more violent than we ever could have imagined? On our quest for answers, we turn our gaze to the northern hemisphere of Mars, to two distinct spots where the radiation levels soar beyond the norm. These aren't just anomalies, they are sizzling hot spots, pulsating with radioactivity. The strangeness doesn't end here, it deepens. Peculiarly, our instruments reveal no trace of an impact crater at these sites. It's, it's as if the hand of destruction exploded midair showering destruction without touching the surface. A familiar sight, eerily reminiscent of airbursts witnessed on Earth. Imagine the scale of such devastation. Picture a force so mighty, so cataclysmic that it would dwarf even the formidable Empire State Building. Launched from the cold void of space and detonating in the Martian atmosphere, this raw, unbridled power would have been awe-inspiring, terrifying. Draw parallels to the heart-wrenching accounts and haunting images from Hiroshima and Nagasaki where immense spheres of energy expanded, obliterating everything in their path, leaving behind no craters, but a wake of utter destruction. Data we've harvested from the Mars rovers gives us an estimated timeline, a sobering answer to our burning question. When? The echo of the explosion still whispers its tale from an era some 300 million years ago, a time before dinosaurs roamed the Earth, before the birth of human civilization. This stunning revelation may rewrite our understanding of Mars, painting an entirely new picture of the Red Planet's past. It adds an unexpected, almost unbelievable chapter to the Book of Cosmic History. It demands we reconsider our perceptions of this distant world, spinning silently in the cold, empty vastness of space. As we gaze at Mars twinkling in our night sky, it no longer seems so quiet, so inert. Beneath this serene facade, there might be a history more tumultuous, a past more turbulent, and a story more dramatic than we ever conceived. Millions of years ago, it might have teemed with life as we know it. It could have boasted an atmosphere and liquid water, the fundamental ingredients for existence. Imagine it as a vibrant world, probably adorned with sparkling oceans and expansive lakes, a dwelling place for a multitude of organisms. The quest for signs of life on Mars has ignited the curiosity of mankind ever since we first had the capability to gaze upon its beguiling surface. Rewind to 1877, a time where telescopes were a relatively new invention. An Italian astronomer, Giovanni Schiaparelli, believed he noticed an intricate network of canals overlaying the Martian terrain. However, his observation was deemed a miscalculation. Fast forward to 1976, the year the Viking probe emerged on a remarkable voyage to the Red Planet. The probe transmitted grainy, low-resolution images back to Earth that astounded the scientific community. The visuals hinted at formations akin to pyramids, and even an imposing face structure reminiscent of the ancient Sphinx in Egypt. Despite the initial excitement, these interpretations were later considered mere illusions casted by light and shadow. The mystery of Mars continued to unfold in 2016. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, an advanced spacecraft, relayed crisp, high-resolution images that stirred the imagination of observers worldwide. Strangely, these pictures hinted at remnants of what seemed like Bronze Age-styled walled cities, eerie ruins from a forgotten era. Now pause for a moment and indulge in a flight of fancy, if you will. 
Picture a civilization on Mars, not quite as advanced as we are, but teeming with life. A peaceful society, blissfully oblivious to the horrors of nuclear warfare, lives their day-to-day -day lives. But then, from the unfathomable depths of the cosmos, a more advanced predatory alien race descends upon them. Visualize terrifying flashes of blinding light, unbearable heat engulfing everything, causing mass devastation. Life as the Martians knew it, every memory, every connection incinerated in one instant. Well, a couple of instants. It would have been a verifiable apocalypse, a chaotic inferno transforming their home into a wasteland, desolate and devoid of life. These formidable weapons of an unknown alien race not only annihilated the Martian civilization, but also obliterated the biosphere of Mars to its core, rendering any prospect of recovery impossible. In the aftermath, what remains of is Mars we know now, a desolate, barren world shrouded in mystery. This riveting tale of a long-lost civilization, its devastating demise, and the transformation of a once vibrant planet into a desolate sphere leaves us astonished, speechless even. The unexplainable events that could occurred on Mars have left even the brightest minds in our scientific community lost for words, reminding us of just how much we've yet to discover, especially in the vastness of space. A mystery that has kept experts around the world on their toes, a riddle without an answer, continues to unfold on the alien plains of Mars. In a distant world of crimson dunes, where the sun rises and sets in hues that Earth-bed eyes have never seen, lies a secret that has left scientists baffled, speechless. A strange phenomenon unfolded in the Martian atmosphere. Again, the existence of Xenon-129. It's a rare gas, an isotope with an abnormal account of neutrons in its nucleus, which under normal circumstances can only be found in the aftermath of a nuclear explosion. How did this find itself on a planet that, as far as we know, hasn't had any sort of nuclear activity? Back here on our home planet, on the vast continent of Africa, in the heart of Gabon, we discovered a peculiar uranium deposit. This deposit bears the marks of sustained nuclear reaction, not unlike what you'd find in our fission reactors. The similarities were uncanny, the implications staggering. Against all odds, under certain very specific conditions, water seeping through the uranium deposit induced fission, a process reminiscent of what's at the heart of a nuclear explosion. What's even more surprising is that this occurred some 1.7 billion years ago, during a time when complex life was just a whisper of a dream. <laughs> Nature had already demonstrated its ability to conduct nuclear reactions, far removed from the meddling hands of, uh, you know, ugh, humans. So, one must ask, could such an event have occurred naturally on Mars? Yet, a former NASA physicist, Dr. John Brandenburg, believes that it couldn't have been a natural occurrence. He claims that if a natural nuclear reactor had gone awry on Mars, not only would it produce a different xenon spectrum, but it would also create massive craters. As it stands, the Martian ground again remains undisturbed, eerily serene in its smoothness. Dr. Brandenburg suggests an unnerving hypothesis pointing towards an almost unthinkable direction. He theorizes that about 300 million years ago, Mars, which he believes was teeming with intelligent life, was annihilated in a nuclear war of unimaginable proportions. He suggests that this war was not a product of Martian conflict, but rather an act of malignant extraterrestrial species, a chilling thought to even entertain. Through this lens, the existence of humanity is not some freak occurrence, but a common spectacle in the cosmic theater. Not everything in the universe's wide expanse harbors friendly intentions, and our kin in the cosmos may not always be benign. If this horrifying hypothesis were true, that, that an external threat wiped out an advanced civilization on Mars, and it all transpired at a time when Earth was yet to nurse intelligent life, the invaders then may have overlooked our primitive planet. On this momentous day, February 13th, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, better known as NASA, shared significant news with the world. The Opportunity rover, a symbol of human ingenuity and space exploration, has officially completed its mission on Mars. This marked the end of a fantastic 15-year-long adventure, exploring and studying the alien landscapes of the Red Planet. This termination announcement was the result of a series of unfortunate events. Approximately eight months ago, Opportunity ceased communication with its base back on Earth. The sudden and unexpected radio silence was attributed to the intense Martian dust storm, a common occurrence on Mars. This fierce weather event severely disrupted the rover's solar panels, rendering it unable to recharge its power source and send signals back to Earth. Opportunity wasn't the only rover sent on the Mars Exploration rover's mission back in 2003. It had a twin, Spirit, 
who was equally important and integral to the program. However, Spirit just couldn't match Opportunity's longevity. Spirit's end came in 2010, earlier than its sibling, as I don't need to tell you, when it found itself stuck in a treacherous sand trap that resulted in the depletion of its power source. Opportunity and Spirit were relentless explorers during their time on Mars. Their journey yielded an abundance of groundbreaking information across diverse scientific domains. They delved into the Martian terrain, captured panoramas of alien landscapes, and discovered various fascinating artifacts, leaving no stone unturned. Now, let's take a step back in time and delve into some of the most intriguing and unusual discoveries made by Opportunity and Spirit on Mars. Opportunity's first few months on Mars were filled with exciting discoveries. One such revelation was the sight of a peculiar cluster of rocks near the landing site. These rocks, almost resembling berries, were humorously termed blueberries by the perplexed scientists at NASA. The genesis of these intriguing rocks is yet to be deciphered. However, they are considered significant as they stand as potential evidence of Mars's once damp environment. On January 8th of 2014, Opportunity's panoramic camera revealed an odd object that resembled a powdered jelly-filled donut. The sight of this Martian donut intrigued the world. Scientists were puzzled because previous images captured at the same location showed absolutely zero signs of this object. The peculiar image has become a topic of interest, capturing imaginations worldwide despite the uncertainty surrounding its origin or composition. After several weeks of intense study, NASA scientists concluded that the alleged pastry was actually a rock that had been dislodged by the rover's wheels. Opportunity was also responsible for another historical discovery, the first meteorite found on another planet on January 6th of 2005. Opportunity came across a meteorite, roughly the size of a basketball resting on the Martian surface. Using its onboard spectrometers, Opportunity analyzed the composition of the extraterrestrial rock, determining that it was primarily made from iron and nickel. The meteorite was found near the discarded heat shield of Opportunity, leading to the nickname Heat Shield Rock. Creative. In March 2004, Opportunity captured an image that stirred the curiosity of scientists and enthusiasts alike. The photograph depicted a long-eared figure in the region known as Meridani Planum, a reminiscent of a bunny rabbit, complete with ears seemingly swaying in the gentle Martian breeze. However, a NASA engineer clarified that it was just a piece of soft material from the rover itself, perhaps a cotton insulation or a Vectron cover. Opportunity's twin, Spirit, also made several curious discoveries during its tenure on Mars. One such discovery was made in 2007, when Spirit captured a picture of a figure resting on a rock that eerily resembled a humanoid figure. The image sparked a lot of excitement and speculation, with many interpreting it as evidence of extraterrestrial life. NASA, however, was quick to clarify that it was just a real cool-shaped rock, a uniquely shaped rock, not an alien creature. The final unusual finding from NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission comes from the tracks left behind by the Spirit Rover. After landing on Mars in 2004, Spirit made a turn that left an impression in the Martian soil. The imprint was amusingly phallic-shaped. This humorous sight remained unnoticed for almost a decade, only gaining attention when a Redditor came across the image, turning it into a popular internet meme. Despite Opportunity's mission coming to an end, the discoveries made by Opportunity and Spirit continue to be significant in advancing our understanding of Mars. These diligent robotic explorers may have gone silent, but the data they sent back to Earth continues to be invaluable in the ongoing and future Mars exploration missions. Their legacy lies in the wealth of knowledge that they've given us about Mars' geology, climate, and potential for past life, paving the way for future manned missions to the Red Planet. It is the end of an era, but it also signifies the beginning of many more exciting endeavors in the pursuit to uncover more secrets hidden in the vast expanse of the Martian landscape. As we explore that mysterious planet Mars, we wonder if our presence as a growing civilization might attract the attention of possible space invaders. Space Vikings, if you will. Could they be coming back? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more fear-inducing knowledge. Yay!